religion or the family that have traditionally been uh, traditional Catholicism. Now it's all about globalism. Picking a scientific advisor who wants a global planetary council, a global planetary court, and global planetary taxes. He says the UN is a de facto global government. It does not rule by the consent of the governed. He says another way that our planet is being united, of course, is through these international trade agreements. So we've talked about that often here. The ultimate goal for the entire world is to become a single market with uniform laws, uniform rules, uniform regulations. But as we merge our economy with the rest of the globe, the U.S. has been losing tens of thousands of businesses, millions of jobs as the monolithic corporations now dominate our economy to an area where production of labor is much cheaper. That's precisely where this is all going. Now, if we look at the race for speaker that is now starting to open up, the person who's being pushed to the front to replace John Boehner is someone who has pushed open borders relentlessly for his entire career, for over 15 years, Paul Ryan. If we look at this video that came from 2013, we see him with the Democrat who's pushed open borders the most, Luis Guterres, and he's saying in this 53-minute uh, video that we need to have a national policy that allows companies to bring in and hire as many foreign workers as they would like. Do you understand how they are screwing the American worker, exporting jobs, importing workers with open borders. Now, he says Ryan rejects the idea that America is a country, in other words, a land with fixed border, with a heritage. Instead, he sees it as an idea. And he says ideas don't have borders. We've heard that before. We've heard that that's the way they sell the open border agenda. That's what Paul Ryan is doing. And so now we have a move within the Republican Party, as well as with Nancy Pelosi, saying that she, could like, she would like to help to uh, get this crisis for speakership done, and, and she sees a Republican candidate that she would be able to support. Who do you think that would be? She won't say, but I think we already know that we're going to get a candidate for speaker that is precisely the same as Boehner. Boehner has had the same policies, he's had the same methods that Pelosi has, and that's what the leadership of both the Democrats and the Republicans are going to push I think that Paul Ryan is going to be their man. We're going to see a full court push on that very soon. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk about how there's a bipartisan war on the working poor. We're going to show you just how regressive the progressive Obamacare mandates are. We'll be right back. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just fucking stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. As we finish the last segment, we we're talking about what's coming up with the speaker's race. Of course, it was Peter Sutherland, the U.N. official, who said that sovereignty is just an illusion. Borders and countries are just an illusion. And, of course, we've got a candidate now for speakership, Paul Ryan, who's telling us the same thing, because that's the globalist line. He's telling us that America is an idea. It's not really a physical country. And, of course, ideas can be changed very quickly, just like Paul Ryan can change his mind very quickly. We were told he was absolutely not interested in the job of speaker, but they continued to beg him. And as the AP reports, it suggests that the same hardliners who pushed the current speaker, John Boehner, out of Ohio to announce his resignation scared off his heir apparent majority leader, Kevin McCarthy. Do you understand? <laughs> now they're going to say those people are going to throw up obstacles to Paul Ryan, too. Listen to the language that they use. Hardliners opposed John Boehner. He had an heir apparent because he's been ruling like a king. That's why they threw him out. That kind of imperial rule, the same as Nancy Pelosi, and of course on the issues, they're the same. And I want to show you with this talk about minimum wage, the talk about uh, uh, that we see from Bernie Sanders, I want to talk to you about how they are gaming the working class. This is a bipartisan war on the working class. As we pointed out before, what are they doing to jobs? They're shipping them overseas. They're bringing in workers, importing workers at unlimited numbers. And of course, they're playing all kinds of games, giving you the money with one hand and taking it away with the other. Before we do, uh, before we leave this, I just want to go back to this speaker race real briefly, talk about one of the representatives from Kentucky, Massey, who was one of the Republican rebels, they call it. Again, rebels. He said he would consider forcing a vote to push Boehner out of the speaker's chair if Boehner engages in nefarious activity. Would that be something like suspending the elections because your heir that you've chosen to your throne stands up and says he's not going to run? They had two other candidates in the race, and of course, Boehner is saying he's going to stick around to clear the decks, clear the barn, he says, before leaving Congress. Is he going to push through this trade agreement that's going to destroy jobs? That, of course, he's on the same page with Nancy Pelosi and many of the Democrat leadership on this. This is what they've been doing, and of course, this is how, 
and why they need to be stopped. And of course, AP goes on to say Republican voters are pushing for action, for change, for confrontation with Obama. And you know what? If the Republican Party cannot throw out Boehner and the false rhinos that are there, they are not going to retain their leadership there in the, in the House. They're going to lose a lot of elections from people who are fed up with him. But let's take a look at what the other side is doing. Let's look at what Bernie Sanders is telling us. Now, he went on Sunday show yesterday, and he told George Stephanopoulos that he was in favor of paid family and medical leave. Now, he said, of course, this is going to recall, require a small increase in the payroll tax. And Stephanopoulos said, well, if you increase the payroll tax, that's going to hit everybody. And Sanders says, yes, it would hit everybody. But when a mom has a baby, she can, in fact, stay home with that baby for three months rather than just for one week. Think about that. For that little bit of vacation, you're going to take a payroll hit for the rest of your life. And for people who are beyond the age of having children or people who don't plan on having children, they're going to be taxed for their entire working life for that. That is socialism, folks. That's the benefits that they like to sell you. That's how the progressives are really regressive. That's how they give it to you with one hand and take it away with the other. Remember the old song, uh, 16 tons, load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. That was the game that was being played by the mining companies against the miners. Here's a really large wage, but oh, by the way, you have to buy this from me and you have to buy that from me, your food, your clothing, your tools, and I'm going to set the price. I'm going to make that pretty high. But of course, we have Democrats like Robert Reich, who is with the Clintons. He's saying, working full time and living in abject poverty, that's what today's minimum wage will get you. So what is he proposing with this minimum wage? Let me tell you what that really is. It's nothing but quantitative easing for the working class. It is nothing but paper prosperity. It's not going to make anybody richer. And if you look at what they're doing with the revelation of Obamacare mandates, what they're putting out here with the increase that they're going to come out of is a very regressive tax, just like Social Security. We have a situation here where they are now charging you $325 or 2% of your income if you don't get Obamacare. Now, what does that mean? That means that you're going to pay 2% of your income, not the $300. That's what they always like to talk about. It's going to be 2% of your income if you are making $16,000 or more. Anybody that pays less will pay a higher percentage. Now, as they go up on this, they're going to go up to $695 or 2.5% of taxable income. Let's look at what this is. At the current minimum wage of seven and a quarter an hour, that means that somebody who makes fourteen and a half thousand dollars a year is going to wind up paying five percent penalty if they don't have Obamacare. People who make more than twenty-seven thousand eight hundred dollars will pay two and a half percent, and anybody going all the way up, you'll pay two and a half percent. But the poor will pay far more than that. Somebody on minimum wage will pay double that. So again, understand that this is a bipartisan war against the working poor. Charging you 2.5% for these Obamacare mandates if you don't get the even more expensive insurance. But if you make minimum wage, it's going to be 5%. Now, these mandates are coming from big corporations, big corporations like Walmart that have devastated small business. And this is one of the ways they do it. John Bowne has this report. <laughs> Walmart, the made-in-China fueled small American business killing plague, is finally feeling the symptoms of its part in destroying the U.S. economy. Forbes reported, Walmart recently announced that it was raising its minimum starting wage to $9 an hour, 24% higher than the federal minimum. Since Walmart is famous for its ruthless cost management, this appeared on its face to be a significant sign of a tightening labor market. Walmart wasn't offering higher wages because the labor market was streamlining. The Walton family raised the minimum wage to $9 an hour due to the liberal socialist madness generated by Washington, D.C. Now those chickens have come home to roost, and it didn't take long. Zero Hedge reports, Walmart stocks have nosedived, and it hasn't seen a low like this in 17 years. The stock had fallen by 22%. Walmart as a brand is comparable to heroin. It's incredibly bad for our economy, but the addictive supply is on every corner and the other pusher just can't compete. 
The dealers in this market smackdown are the richest family in America, valued at $140 billion, equal to the value of 42% of American families combined. Walmart is the canary in the coal mine. It's the canary that ate the local businesses, the local industry that helped shut down our industry. It was the big Chinese bonanza mart.